In the 1960s, 4,000 miles of railway lines were closed down, while 1,000 miles of a new breed of road were being built, the motorway. These new fast roads created a fantastic opportunity for the road haulage industry to take lucrative freight business away from the rail companies. Unfortunately, the typical lorries of the day were slow, noisy bone shakers with cold, cramped cabs. Not great for long distance trucking. They needed their own revolution. This is a 1967 Leyland Super Comet, a 60s workhorse that transformed the life of the modern lorry driver. It was the first lorry to be designed with the comfort of the driver in mind. For safety at high speeds on the motorway, it had radial ply tyres that were puncture resistant and powerful air brakes. But the most groundbreaking feature of the Super Comet was the cab. There we go, tilt cab. Absolutely revolutionary, instant access to the engine. Mechanic's dream really compared to the older trucks where you had to sort of reach down the side for changes or for bigger jobs, drop the engine out of the bottom of the truck. But the really revolutionary part was the ergonomically designed interior. Right, ergonomic. Designed for maximum comfort, efficiency, safety and ease of use, especially in the workplace. In a lorry? It's extraordinary. But just how comfortable is it? To find out, I'm going to take it for a spin with classic lorry enthusiast John Gowler, who's owned this truck for 40 years. Hey, look at that. It's great. All right, John. Yep. So it's it's right across no, from no, what, no, is it? No, no just, it's just there. Just there. Just there. Okay. Just there. All right. The non-synchromesh right. gears on this old girl might take some getting used to. And you might be in third, then. Huh? You might be in third. You're all right. You're in third? Yeah, you're all right. And this is a crash box, so gear changing is, uh, is a bit of an art, which I'm just about getting hold of. What's that? Is that? That's a bit. You look in here. I finally got me gears sorted and can now appreciate the finer details of the ergonomic design. Yeah, the driving position on this Super Comet is absolutely superb. Plenty of visibility. I've got everything all around me, easily accessible. The indicators over here. Power steering is just a joy to use compared to earlier trucks. Handbrake there. Even got a heater. And that separates trucks, of course, from the modern era, from the old era when uh, you just had to wear a nice stout coat. And although you've got the engine right beside you, it's not really that intrusive, you know, at 55 miles an hour, you can still have a decent conversation without having to bellow. The Super Comet set a new standard for British lorries. In these revolutionary cabs, drivers took on much longer haulage routes on the new motorways. And they were built to last. This one's completed an amazing 700,000 miles. Yeah, there we are with the big Leyland logo that so many people associate with unreliability. And that is an opinion, really, that's based on the cars. But really, when you look at this truck, Leyland 400 engine, seven times round the clock, uh, 300,000 miles in the first six years, and after that, just uh, piston rings and shells. That was all that was changed. Uh, and it was ready for another 400,000 miles. Absolutely brilliant. By the end of the 60s, with lorries like this, the road haulage business increased by 60%, and the era of the modern long-distance truck driver was born.